Neuropathy sometimes can be difficult to treat and sometimes treatment can be expensive. That's why it's important for us to look for affordable yet effective strategies to lessen the symptoms of nerve damage and improve your overall quality of life. If you're currently suffering from numbness and pins and needle sensation, this video is for you. In this video, I will teach you five specific exercises that have been proven and backed up by research to decrease symptoms of neuropathy and improve your overall quality of life. Because sometimes even your way of living is already affected with numbness and pins and needle sensation. Stay with me until the end. I will share with you five questions that you need to ask yourself for you to gauge and for you to monitor if these exercises had been helpful for you or not. Hi, this is again Dr. Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy, teaching you practical health tips and home exercise programs that you can surely benefit from. If you're suffering from numbness and pins and needle sensation, I'm certain that you find it sometimes hard to exercise. But do you know that exercise have actually been proven to decrease symptoms of neuropathy and improve your overall quality of life? Studies have actually shown that exercise can decrease hyperalgesia. When we talk about hyperalgesia, it is the heightened sensation of pain caused by nerve damage. And exercise have also been proven to decrease allodynia. When we talk about allodynia, it is when a non-painful stimuli becomes painful for you. For example, if a blanket touches your skin, sometimes for patients who have neuropathy, this can be very overwhelming and this can be very disturbing for them. These exercises can help you no matter what the cause of your nerve damage is. May it be for our cancer warriors who are experiencing neuropathy as a side effect of chemotherapy treatment or for others who have neuropathy as a side effect of blood sugar level. Let's begin. Threadmill running. If you have treadmill at home or a nearby facility, studies have actually proven that this can help lower symptoms of nerve pain. In fact, studies have shown that you can experience relief or improvement of your symptoms in as early as the first week. The mechanism for which treadmill running can help with neuropathy is by decreasing the inflammation in inflamed and damaged nerves. And it has also been proven to help release neurotropins. Neurotropins are growth factors that are needed for the function of your nerves, even in creating alternate pathways which is needed for nerve healing and is associated with nerve regeneration. 60 minutes of treadmill running five times a week had been proven to decrease symptoms of nerve damage. If you don't have treadmill at home, running will do. Walking. Do you know that walking is a type of exercise that is simple, yet it can effectively lower symptoms of neuropathy? A study published in the Journal of American Medical Association have proven this. These can be attributed to the fact that walking increases blood circulation which is needed for nerve repair. Resistance exercises. Exercises that uses dumbbells and ankle weights like this and even the use of body weight that have actually been proven to decrease symptoms of nerve damage. When you do resistance exercise, you work on the major muscle groups of the body. It would also increase your muscular strength. Now, this can benefit the seniors who are staying at home and who have noticed muscular weakness. This can also help improve your balance and your functional ability. A study published in the American Geriatric Society have validated that resistance exercise can actually lower symptoms of neuropathy. 
if you don't know how to properly use ankle weights and dumbbells i have a video here it was intended for those who have high blood sugar level you can also check on this let this guide you because it works on the same mechanism i will just put the link of the video in the description box below so it will be easier for you the American Diabetes Association recommends that you do resistance exercise minimum two times in a week. This is together with the aerobic exercise that we talked about a while ago, which includes your treadmill running and walking. Before we continue to the two exercises that can help decrease neuropathy symptoms and improve your overall quality of life and the five questions that you need to ask yourself, at this point, I would like to ask a favor from you to please click the like button below if you think that this video or any videos in this channel have been helpful to you. Thank you very much swimming if it is convenient for you to do swimming i would like to validate that it is indeed helpful in decreasing neuropathy symptoms because it can decrease hypersensitivity caused by damaged nerves what's good with swimming is it can also be a form of relaxation for you because do you know that neuropathy symptoms are actually increased or exacerbated every time you are stressed out and you would also be using major muscle groups in your body but without additional pressure in your muscles and joint because of the buoyancy of the water swimming between 10 to 50 minutes five times a week had been proven helpful to decrease symptoms of neuropathy and improve your overall quality of life cycling if you have bicycles at home, this one is also good to decrease symptoms of nerve damage. In the clinic, we are using stationary bike. Not only would it decrease symptoms of nerve pain, it can also improve your overall heart and lung health. Cycling can also work on the strength of your legs and it can also improve your coordination. A study published have actually proven that it decreased symptoms of neuropathy by improving how your nerves function and decreasing hypersensitivity. Cycling of 20 minutes minimum of 5 times per week have also been proven to help symptoms of nerve damage. There is actually hope with neuropathy and nerve damage. You just need to be patient and you just need to be dedicated. I have shared with you five types of exercises that have been proven by research to decrease symptoms of nerve damage and improve your overall quality of life. It's up to you to choose which among the five exercises would be most convenient for you to do. Here are the five questions that you need to ask yourself for you to gauge and for you to monitor if these exercises have indeed been helpful for you. Next time when you have your doctor's visit, you can also show these records to your doctor so you can work also with your progress in getting rid of numbness and the pins and needle sensation. Rate your pain and discomfort from 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain and 10 being severe. Have you noticed any change in the frequency of your symptoms after you had your exercise? How would you assess your mobility and your ability to function day-to-day -day activities as compared to the past few months? Rate your quality of sleep from 0 to 10, with 0 being poor and 10 being excellent sleep. Because do you know that symptoms of neuropathy is actually increased or heightened at night and early in the morning? How would you describe your overall well-being after doing these exercises? I hope that this video is able to help and guide you. These are inexpensive yet effective strategies to help lessen symptoms of neuropathy and improve your overall quality of life. 
If you have reached the end of this video, please comment home exercise in the comment section below. If you want to know about effective home strategies that you can do on your own to get rid of the numbness and pins and needle sensation in your hands, in your legs, and in your feet, I have a video here. Check on it. It will greatly help you. Thank you very much for watching. This is again Doc Sherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. I'll see you in our next video.